Hi, this is Attila, and this is a Steel Division Normandy 44 uh, battle group guide. Uh, in this case, uh, this is a battle group that I created, and uh, I will explain to you the rationale around it, and uh, later I'll uh, show you how to use them in a battle, so that will be a separate video. But here it's all about the rationale. So let's get started. This is a... Uh, 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 the 91 uh, Luftlande uh, Hodegen Division. Uh, I'm not sure if I say that correctly, but uh, this is a unit of paratrooper essentially. And as a result, they really have uh, a lot of good units uh, of infantry, for example, but very few uh, heavy tank. So your main purpose with this is to get to a position quickly and uh, capture it as fast as possible and hold it as long as possible uh, as for pushing forward you can do it but uh, it's a bit tricky so here is how this work uh, i will provide you the code in the description so check it out so first of all recon aspect of things here as you can see here i have four uh, units for the A phase and this is something that you will notice in this uh, battle group is that I'm really focusing a lot on uh, availability for the A phase so I use a uh, spa troop I'm not sure spy troop spy troop. anyway so this is a recon unit uh, composed of uh, four soldiers and uh, cost 30 as a vehicle so you can spread them around and scout it then I'm using some um, uh, FSPZ Hamver. I'm not sure if that's right, but these Recon actually have a Panzer Shrek. So that's kind of really useful because Recon are more stealthy than others. And having an anti tank capacity make them really useful at killing those early tanks. So two groups of them. And then I'm going to add a B Wave. In this case, I'm using Fusilier because they have some anti-tank capacity, but uh, it's mostly a proper recon infantry uh, unit because they are numerous, strength of nine. So very good unit. Then infantry, I'm using the uh, Ersas Truppen, I suppose. And uh, this is a unit which is rather cheap and uh, this art and they, they have a little more role, I guess, but it's a f it's a useful unit because you can call many of them and spread them around the battlefield. So that that ensure you that you're not being flanked uh, mostly. And also, the, it's an expendable unit kind, of. so it's a bit like a reservist unit, I suppose. Then I'm using one group, actually two group of uh, Führer, Führer, which are essentially leader. Uh, so these guys, uh, they're not really made for fighting that much. They have on Titan capacity, which is attractive. But uh, what makes them interesting is mostly the fact that they boost uh, the experience of your the, the troops around. So that makes your force more effective. So it's useful to have them. And I'm bringing two group, uh, which I'm not sure if it's that good of an idea. Let me correct that. Uh, let's go with uh, more of... Uh, or you can have yeah, okay let's go with that so one group for wave a because i don't plan to waste those and that will be it for that unit then i'm using the mg34 which is uh the the mg you get uh, for that first wave it's kind of useful to suppress the enemy and slow them down then the fs uh, jaeger uh jaeger and uh, two group of them uh, what's interesting about them is that they have an anti-tank, four rounds, and 150 meters. So perfect to hold the town. On top of that, they are effective against infantry as well. Then uh, here I decided to bring a Pioneer Führer uh, for a later phase, I guess. So that's useful uh, to boost the morale. And what is this actually? High explosive value. Of zero that's strange anyway they have some uh, flaming capacity I suppose then I use some grenadier these are a good fight 
uh, regular infantry. So if the enemy manage to push you back, you can use those grenadiers to push them back again. Then you have another variation of the grenadier. Now these guys, they have an anti-tank capacity, so useful thing to have. And then finally, I'm bringing some Sturm Pioneer, uh, which are uh, useful to chase infantry out of a town. So essentially with that infantry force, you're really able to fight in a town. You can also fight a bit outside of towns, but uh, you're an airborne deck, so you should not expect to fight the that much outside of town. Now in terms of tanks, I'm using that uh, Panzer 25 r uh, which is a useful Panzer, uh, but uh, very weak. But the thing is that what I found is that in many cases uh, it's useful to have these because uh, the enemy has a tendency uh, to bring a support tank to destroy uh, the buildings and they don't necessarily bring anti-tank tank uh, which mean that these can actually do a good job uh, but of course it's really uh, it's more a support unit for your unit than anything that useful that will allow you to deal with aftrack and that kind of stuff now for wave b i bring a uh, stug 3g uh, this is really because I have to, you never know. And then for wave C, uh, you bring uh, additional Stug. But uh, really, they're not that great. Uh, you c it's like, I uh, haven't done much damage with them ever. In terms of support, uh, well, I guess perhaps having Stug there will be better, but I'm not sure. Uh, they come too late at that point, it's not that useful. So uh, here I'm bringing some supply vehicle and here I'm bringing some uh, additional supply vehicle uh, to refill the ammo of my troops. Then anti-tank capacity, I'm bringing some uh, FSPZ uh, Shrek. So that's uh, additional anti-tank capacity, uh, good range here, uh, all things considered of course. While here I bring additional uh, pack uh, 37, I guess it's good for early stage and you can suppress the enemy tank with that. Then I bring a pack 75, which is a strong anti-tank. While here I bring a, bring a, a pack 38 50 millimeter. Uh, it's not that great for late stage, but uh, you can spread them around and you have three of them. Now for later stage, I bring a, a Martyr 2. And I think that's pretty much uh, the best thing you can bring at that stage. Because uh, the issue with uh, those uh, pack is that uh, the enemy will do air strike on them or artillery strikes. So it's like uh, they are useful, but uh, they are also a good target. Well, here I'm bringing uh, uh, one unit for the first wave, so uh, the Flak 38 uh, 20 millimeter. Then I'm bringing another Flak 38 20 millimeter for uh, the second wave, so that gives me additional stuff. Uh, and then I bring a Flak 36 88. Uh, not that sure it's that great, but it's worth having, I guess it's it has a longer range and it can also kill tank. Here for artillery, I bring a P, well actually a FK uh, 39R. So you can bring one of these. Yeah, seems so. Then I bring one of the strongest unit the Airborne have is that vehicle which can call artillery in. And uh, it's really powerful. But you can only call three artillery with him, so that's a bit uh, a trade-off. Then I'm bringing uh, only at wave C uh, some mortar, really useful, and uh, a Panzer Lorraine, which is uh, also good artillery, I guess. Now Air Force, this is one of the main appeal of uh, Airborne Neck, uh, is that you can bring a lot of planes. And uh, here I ended up 
choosing to bring uh, for that wave A uh, uh, BF-109 uh, with uh, rockets so you can suppress the enemy infantry or whatever comes by you it's not good enough necessarily to kill Tang but you can kill the, some stuff and then I focus all my uh, attention on uh, those uh, FW-190G3 which are dropping bombs and they're also okay fighters so but let's compare this yeah it's a good fighter and they have bombs perfect to drop on tank and then finally on wave c i bring some bombers like these and these really can hurt and destroy everything and if you don't destroy them you suppress them enough so that they just pull back so essentially uh, the enemy will not be able to attack you now of course uh, the risk you have with that kind of approach is that i don't really have fighters uh, which could be useful so for example if i was to bring this i would have a fighter but uh, i decided not to because anyway you prefer to suppress the enemy uh, with all the bombers you can when you have a an airborne deck so this is it for this uh, mini guide hopefully i'll make a better one in the future as the game evolve which i'm sure it will and I hope you enjoy this and uh, make sure to check the, the code in the description. And if, it, if there is any error in the code, tell me, I will correct it. Also provide me some feedback and your opinion about what you see uh, about how to use this if you want. So let's move on to the guide, I guess. I'll make that.